Hi there, this is Dr. Max Gatko and you're watching the Logs Density channel. In today's episode, we are going to discuss bone grafting. Bone grafting in terms of dental implants. Whether you're still considering uh, to get an extraction followed by a bone grafting to preserve the, the site for the future implants, or you have been missing teeth for many, many years and all your previous dentists have told you that you cannot have any implants there because you do not have enough bone but you still want to see if anything can be done to get those nice implants stay tuned and hopefully this video will give you some answers before we get going let's not be lazy and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already bone grafting such a confusing topic no one understands it why because many people use bone grafting term in different meaning different things. Let's define it. Bone grafting is a type of a dental procedure that is done in order to preserve or restore certain existing or anticipated bone defect in your mouth. Let's briefly discuss what kind of materials I use for bone grafting. There are four general classes of materials that can be used for bone grafting procedures in your mouth. Uh, first is a synthetic bone, bone from an animal such as pig or horse, uh, bone from a cadaver, and your own bone transplant. Each of these materials have a different clinical indications and applications. All right, we have to cover some of the anatomy in order to understand this bone grafting concept a bit better. Once we extract the tooth, the bone that's used to surround the tooth will start to disappear or resorb. This resorption of bone loss happens because the majority of the bone in your jaw exists solely to support the teeth. And once the tooth is lost, your body do not want to supply nutrients to non-functional bone and basically dissolves that bone. So the longer you have been missing a tooth or teeth, uh, the less sound bone you will be having. After missing teeth for many years, the bone loss becomes very prominent and major site development may be required if you're considering dental implants. Let's further classify bone grafting that you may need. First, after tooth extraction, we'll call it a internal defect or intraosseous if you want to use the fancy dental terms. This is one of the most common bone grafting done today and its proper name is actually would be a socket preservation so how does it work so you have a bad tooth that needs to come out and you plan to get an implant sooner or later your doctor would extract your bad tooth and fill the newly formed socket with a particular grafting materials and sometimes add PRF or some sort of a membrane in order to cover the bone graft and prevent bone graft from escaping the site. You may say, well, I had teeth pulled before, I never had bone grafting and everything healed just fine. Yes, you are absolutely correct. The site will heal naturally. However, there is going to be a bone loss. It has been proven scientifically that bone grafting while preserving the site tends to maximize the bone volume if done properly and minimizes bone resorption. You want to set yourself for a successful and predictable outcome when it comes to dental implants. So I do not recommend cutting a corner and not getting a site preservation sort of a graft. Additional benefits, you get faster and easier, less painful healing. Cost, expect to pay anywhere from 300 to $1,200 depending on the type of graft material that's being used, uh, your location, and if you need any additional perks such as membranes or PRFs. So who needs a socket preservation bone graft? My answer is everyone who's seriously considering implants in the near future. Uh, been missing those lower back molars for many many years and now considering dental implants well the good news the modern surgical techniques may allow you to grow the, that lost bone back up 
This is another type of grafting that is considered to be additive or a linear grafting. We call it extra isius and one of the common techniques that fixes that extra isius defect is called GBR. GBR stands for guided bone regeneration and is a completely different animal than a socket preservation type of a graft uh, because it requires an invasive surgery, um, requires harvesting of your own bone cells from another donor site and takes a lot of skill to complete. Cost of such grafting vary widely and depends on each unique situation. The cost can vary anywhere from three to $15,000 mostly depending on the difficulty and extent of the defect. To summarize, most of the grafting that people get is a for socket preservation. Helps to maintain bone volume and sets you for a best setup for a future implant. Missing several teeth for many years and hurt that dental implants are no no for you? Do not give up just yet. Surgical techniques are consistently improving and evolving. Modern surgical techniques allow us to grow a bone with a high degree of predictability both vertically and horizontally. So you may want to talk to your dentist one more time. Thank you for watching this episode until then. Let's smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to continue learning about dentistry. I wish you lots of luck and good health and I will see you soon.